The NDC communications officer Sami Jinfi began the press conference by reminding Ghanaians on some comments made by then candidate Akufado and his running mate, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Has no sympathy for Ghanaians. This is Dr. Baumia. So let nobody accuse Sami Jinfi and the NDC for doing politics with fuel prices. This is the standard they subjected President Mahama to. Now, can we go to the next slide? Quickly, uh, this was, I believe, a tweet he made sometime in May 2015. And this is what the, uh, the, the, the economic whiskey of the MPP said about fuel prices. I feel really sad this morning for the ordinary Guinean, the hardworking people who have to endure the insensitive decision to increase fuel prices at this time. Next slide. Now, this was also a tweet by candidate Ekufuado, then in opposition, on the seat of December 2016, a day to the December 7, 2016 elections. And this is what he had to say. I have seen how drivers, both private and commercial, struggle to pay for the high prices of fuel and insurance premiums. Hashtag vote Ekufuado. Mr. Jemfi also attributed the high cost of living experienced under the current administration to bad leadership and mismanagement of the economy. He added there is no justification for the fuel hikes, insisting price of foodstuffs have shot up astronomically, a situation he believes is burdening the taxpayer. A 50 kg bag of cement that was sold at 27 Ghana cities in the year 2016 is being sold at 52 Ghana cities today, and even in some cases above that price. A ton of iron rods, 16 mm iron rods, that was sold at about 2,800 Ghana cities in 2016, is today selling at 5,300 Ghana cities. While a packet of aluminum roofing sheets that was sold at about 520 Ghana cities in 2016, is being sold at about 1,200 cities today. Additionally, ladies and gentlemen, a bottle of fried oil oil that used to sell at 130 Ghana cities in 2016 is today selling at 285 Ghana cities. Similarly, a crate of eggs that used to sell at 12 Ghana cities in 2016 is today selling at a whopping 26 Ghana cities. Just to mention a few. Times are very tough. The system is hard and pockets are dry. He have a call in government to scrap taxes imposed on petroleum products. We therefore wish to call on the Akufuado Bawumia MPP government to, as a matter of urgency, scrap one, the special petroleum tax of 46 pesos on a letter of diesel and petrol. It will be recalled that a special petroleum tax was introduced by the ex-WAL NDC Mahama administration sometime in 2016 when crude oil export price fell far below government's budgetary projections. The objective was to shore up government revenue for development purposes. But given the fact that crude oil prices have increased from below $40 to over $80 per barrel in recent time, far above government's budgetary projection of $54 per barrel, it is untenable for government to still maintain this tax, a special petroleum tax on petroleum products now. And same should be scrapped without further delay. In the same vein, we call on government to scrap the newly introduced taxes on fuel products such as the energy sector levies of 20 pesos on a liter of diesel and petrol, and the new sanitation levy, boiler tax, of 10 pesos on a liter of diesel and petrol, as same is totally needless and useless.